So in week 13, <clears throat> we covered expressions. And the first expression we went over was the wiggle expression. And the way the wiggle expression works is uh, you option click, or on a PC you would alt click, on whatever stopwatch that you want to apply this expression to. So it works with position, scale, transparency, and rotation. I'll, I'll demonstrate all four of them. So when you option or alt click on the stopwatch, you just type in wiggle, parenthesis. Now the number in blue is how many times a second it'll apply the wiggle expression to. And the number in green is the movement, uh, the amount of units that's going to move. So that's what the expression looks like. I'm going to zoom out. And we're going to go into After Effects. And I'm going to create a new composition. 1920, 1080, 24 frames. Make it seven seconds long. Hit OK. And I'll save this for you guys to have in uh, Canvas. So put this in week 13. And I'll call it week 13. Save. All right. Now I'm going to make a new layer. Uh, just make a solid. Whoops. Nope. I'm going to make a shape layer. It'll just be faster and easier. All right. This one I'm going to call scale. And then I'll just duplicate it to three, scale, position, rotation, transparency. Okay. This one I'm going to call position. This one I'll make transparency. And the last, obviously. See, I think I spelled that right. Last one will be rotation. All right. I'm going to make each one its own color. So. This one bright orange and obviously before I do anything to them I want to move the anchor points and remember if you hit uh, control or command you can snap it to the center this one will be let's see so if that's orange I'll make this one blue and I'll move its anchor point this so I can see better. There we go. There we go. Position. We'll do the same thing. Move the anchor point and I'll do the last one to scale. Alright, so the color of position will make it uh, green. And scale, we'll just make it pink. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to show off my move this over here and I'll select all four of them and I'll choose distribute horizontally like that so that they're all spread out okay now the wiggler we went over it you select what you want and it'll apply how many times you want to wiggle it uh, but the wiggle effect is much more uh, you get more control with it, and we'll go into the more advanced one. So for scale, I'm just going to press the S key. I'm going to option click or alt click and type in my expression. Wiggle, parenthesis. So uh, let's do something you can see drastically. So I'll do 3, 600. Now remember, the first number, 3, right here, is the number of times per second. The second number is the amount that's going to be moving, like the units of measurement. So I'm just going to hit the enter key, then I'm done, and hit the space bar. And you can see that it is automatically doing a lot of keyframing to the scale. And all I did was type in the expression, no keyframes at all. Now for position, I'm going to hit the P key. So let me just... I'm going to option click or alt click in the stopwatch, no keyframes needed. Uh, Wiggle, and I'll do the same exact one. Three comma six hundred, just so you can see what it's going to do. Then hit enter, click off the layer. Now when I hit the space bar, it's moving around a lot. 
with just that expression. Like I said, no keyframes. Transparency. Oh, did not want to do it. So transparency, I'm going to hit the T key. I will option click, type in wiggle, and do the same amount, 3, 600, just so you can see what it does to each of it. Hit enter. And that one's going to start flickering. See, like that. And finally, rotation. I'm going to option click or you alt click based upon. And I'll do the same exact unit. 3600. Hit enter. And that'll be for the rotation. Move this up so you can see all these. Okay. Save myself some space. Okay. So now I'm just going to press the O key to get a more accurate <coughs> real-time render. And I'll let this play out in real time. Okay, so as you can see, this is what it's doing to the opacity. The blue, the green is the position. Pink's the scale. And the orange is the rotation. That's just with the expression. No keyframes at all. And that's the basic wiggle expression. As I said before, it's just looks like this. And then I'll just do three, six hundred, and wiggle. And I will move that down. And you just option click or alt click on any of the stopwatches to apply it. And that's your expression. No keyframing necessary.